We do want to turn now to the deadly and historic flooding in the Midwest. At least two people dead there, two others missing as the water reaches record levels. For the latest, let's go straight to Sam, who's in for Rob this weekend. Sam, good morning. Hey, Dan. And this isn't the kind of gentle standing flood water that we see pictures of often in river flooding. This is water with the kind of power to do that. That's a dam. So this water hit that dam, destroyed it, and was even powerful enough to cut around it. It's the kind of flood water that's taking away roads, bridges, buildings, anything in its path. This morning, from Nebraska to Wisconsin, historic river flooding from rapid snowmelt and ice jams, leaving at least two dead and two missing. In Nebraska, the destruction widespread. Roadways completely crumbled. Take a look at this highway cracked in half with floodwaters rushing right through it. The force of the water so strong, it took out the Spencer Dam, causing an 11 foot wall of water to devastate three surrounding counties. This cafe in Niobrara destroyed after raging waters wiped it out, leaving debris and chunks of concrete scattered everywhere. Neighborhoods in peril after water rushing in, the National Guard using helicopters to rescue people trapped on their roofs. And rivers cresting at historic levels. In Waterloo, the Elkhorn River breaking its 1962 record, swelling over 17 feet in just five days. Now, take a look at this, a flowing river of ice and debris. Some towns completely isolated because of the flooding and washed away roads. Watch as this trapped resident captured on video rushing water surrounding their home in Waterloo. Officials warning residents that bridge structures are unsafe to travel on even after the water recedes. And unfortunately, this is the kind of flooding that stays in place for a while as well. So the Missouri River in eastern Nebraska, we've got the warnings up in red here. So look at that large chunk of red that stays in record flood into the middle of the week and then track that down to the south as all the water moves. St. Joseph, Missouri, which just is a little north of Kansas City there, we get into major flood by Wednesday. So it's slow moving water that tends to stay as well. Eva. All right. Thanks, Sam. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.